What's up friends and welcome back to Inform Overload, your favorite news show on the internet. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers, and if you happen to be new here, we take the most interesting news stories on the internet and then we spill the tea on them, making them that much more exciting. To stay up to date with the latest and greatest news stories, make sure you tap that subscribe button and don't forget to watch till the end because I will be answering some of your comments from previous videos. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget to go to our Instagram page, at Inform Overload, and sign up for our contest where you can win a $75 Visa gift card just by liking and commenting on the photo of Charlotte. Go do it now. Now to fully understand the importance of what's really on the dark side of the moon, we need to discuss why China sent a lander there in the first place. Our Earth is made up of tectonic plates, then below that is the crust of the Earth, and then before you would reach the core, you would have to go through what's called the mantle. The mantle of the Earth is made up of mostly magma and rock, for which many believe the moon has as well. Although until recently all space missions to the moon have returned unsuccessful to prove what exactly the moon's mantle is made of. Both the US Apollo program and the Soviet lunar missions in the 60s and 70s managed to bring back rock samples from the surface, but none of them actually contained mantle material. However, when China sent their Chang'e 4 lunar lander to the far side of the moon, we finally got a sneak peek at this mystifying mantle. The first measurements that were sent back by the lander is suggesting that the large south pole of the moon, known as the Aitken crater actually contains fragments of the moon's upper mantle. The crater that they were exploring is extremely large, approximately 1,553 miles to be exact, or 2,500 kilometers for my Canadian friends. To understand the large craters, you also have to know about the theory of the moon's creation. It's believed that when a giant Mars-sized object struck the Earth nearly 4.6 billion years ago, it kicked back a cloud of vaporized rock that began to orbit around the Earth. Eventually, the cloud began to cool and condensed into a smaller ring of materials, and condensed into a ring of smaller sized rocks that over time gathered together and formed the moon. So naturally, it's not gonna be an entirely flat surface. Eh, a little flat earth joke there. The soil samples that were tested by the visible and nearly infrared spectrometer aboard the U-22 rover, yes that's what it's called, showed a pattern of light reflecting which indicated that it has high levels of calcium pyroxene and olivine. These two minerals that are found in metamorphic rocks were long believed to be what also made up the moon's mantle. Olivine is actually a common element found in the Earth's surface and until now is very difficult to find on the moon. The researchers at the National Astronomical Observatories for the Chinese Academy of Sciences wrote the following in the journal Nature. Lee and his colleagues' results are thrilling and could have considerable implications for characterizing the compositions of the moon's upper mantle. Planetary scientists actually believe that while the moon was forming, its entire surface would have kind of looked like a molten magma ocean. In that fiery ocean, the minerals would have separated by density with the lighter ones rising to the top and the minerals like iron and magnesium sinking into the mantle. This new information that confirms that the moon's layers are just like Earth is a very important find because it helps us better understand the evolution of planetary interiors overall. In the von Karman crater, the rover also discovered tons of iron and magnesium rich rock that had been shot out of the crater upon something hitting the moon. They also discovered more of these mantle particles, pyroxene and olivine, which was usually never seen on the surface. This means an impact to the moon was so large that it cracked the crust right down to the mantle and launched pieces amongst the other moon rocks. Of course, they'll need to do much more research and exploring the surface to truly validate these findings, but nonetheless, this new discovery on the dark side of the moon is quite groundbreaking, pun intended. We want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below with how many licks that you would think it would take to get to the moon's mantle. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Prank Invasion Does It Again? But worse. Marco BFF says, aren't pranks supposed to be funny? Cause his are just weird. Oh, you're not wrong, Marco. They're supposed to be funny, but the only people laughing are laughing at the person pranking. Space Prince says, Alabama has entered the chat. You know, sometimes I feel bad for Alabama. You know, they're always thrown into every incest story in the world and it must get old sometimes. Although, Alabama, if it does, quit finding the love of your life at family reunions. Hey, it's Becca says, next will be his father. Oh, I thought that would've been a question mark. That would've been a good comment, the question mark. But I like the all caps, that's a big plot twist. Guarantee that's what he'll do next. Either that or he'll go to his grandmother. Maybe he'll take care of all the women in his family first and then move on to the men. Although I bet his uncle won't mind. Fluffy Pink Chaos says, this guy should change his channel name from Prank Invasion to Ultimate Cringe Fest. 
I think you nailed it with that name. It's much more accurate for what he's doing right now. Candace C says, yes, it's disgusting that he kisses his relatives, but my question is, why are his relatives okay with this? Hey, that's what I'm wondering too, but then again, you forget that adults who don't feel fulfilled will live vicariously through their children, and if they're famous for something, they'll do almost anything to keep it. So essentially, they're kissing themselves. <sighs> I wonder if she's going to show up at work and have her boss say, So, uh, Susan, uh, we saw your son's last video. Yeah, pretty weird. Okay, Susan, stop, stop kissing your son. Okay? Thank you so much for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. I know I did. And if you're new here, don't forget to tap that subscribe button as well. That way you never miss us in another news story. And if you want more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the side of the screen. And if you find any news stories that you want us to cover, send us a DM to the Inform Overload Instagram page. We like it. You may just see your story on our channel. Plus. Don't forget to check out the $75 Visa gift card contest. Go like and comment on that photo and you could get enough money to pay your phone bill. Wouldn't that be amazing? What a time to be alive. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.